Chevy, like a rock, except when you've got the tailgate down and a trailer hitched up and you're trying to back the trailer up. As soon as you make a turn, well, it doesn't turn too well. But perfect opportunity to build something cool. Dude, I got a cool idea. Come check this out. So do you remember that time that I had the trailer hooked up and I dropped the tailgate down and I tried to back the trailer up and ruin the tailgate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, do you also remember that giant hickory slab that we have in there? Yeah, regretfully we've moved it a couple times. It's taken up. Well, we're going to fix that because I want to replace this entire tailgate with that hickory slab, but I want it to be fully operational. So the handle works, everything works like a normal tailgate. You down? Yeah, I guess, man. Why don't we add in the horse and the carriage to this? <laughs> I don't know, but let's get to work. All right. Keep going. Ah. Holy sh... Yep, she's been sitting there for a while. Whew, there she is. I think the easiest way to attack this is going to be to pull the actual tailgate off and just plop it on here. That way we can trace out the perimeter of the tailgate. And we only have one shot at this because as soon as we make that cut, we don't have enough slab to do it again. Oh, and if you didn't catch the secret combination of how to drop the tailgate, well, first you pull the handle, nothing happens. Then you've got to reach in here and grab this little wire, pull on that, now you're good to go. Shit. <laughs> that maybe we'll have to go your way a good bit more than we thought yeah i think we're all right that'll work Because this slab is so long, I'm gonna use the circular saw to cut a little bit closer to the line that we traced. Then I'll come back with the jigsaw and cut the actual shape out. I just broke the blade in half. All right, so I guess that answers that question. Jigsaw out, circular saw back in. So now we've got the shape of this thing cut out and I'm fairly surprised that we haven't run into any huge issues yet, but the night is still young. Now we've got a crack that runs down the entire center that we're gonna fill with epoxy. I think we're gonna fill it with red epoxy so it matches the truck. So I have to clean all this crap out of here and get it ready for epoxy. Cracks are all cleaned out. Now I'm gonna vacuum up, pull all that extra stuff out of there. So because of my poor planning, uh, we had to wait a few days for the epoxy to come in, but it finally did. And in the meantime, we did sand down the top a little, so got it nice and smooth, and we're about to pour the epoxy. But I do want to tell you, we are not epoxy experts around here. We build custom cabinets, but we're going to do our best. We figure most things out. We like to think we're pretty good at stuff, or we're just dumb enough to try new stuff until we figure it out. So without further ado, let's do some epoxy. So the recipe calls for a three to one mixture. So three of this one and one of these. And yes, it was about this point that I realized this is not red at all. It's definitely pink, but by this point it was too late, so we just went with it. So we were going for red, it may be a little more pink than red, but 
I told you we weren't experts. It's gonna work out though. We're gonna let it sit overnight. It's Friday, so we're gonna hit the road, head to the house, and check on this stuff on Monday. After the weekend, we got everything flattened out and then ran it a couple times through the drum sander to get it nice and flat. Now is the time that I've been dreading since the beginning of this build. I've got to cut out the hole for the handle and I've got to do it by hand with our plunge router from Harbor Freight because I don't have a fancy CNC machine where I can set this thing down on the table and walk away after lunch and come back and it's already cut. So we're going to give this thing a go. It's got to be done, so let's do it. The good thing about this is after you get the first pass or two done, it becomes kind of like a track that your bit will follow the entire time. So it gets easier as you go. You just got to go slower and go a little bit at a time. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I was so scared about. It actually turned out Perfect. So I bought a rebuild kit that's got all the parts for it, and that is the cover. Perfect, it's gonna cover up all my little imperfections around the border there. So now I'm gonna cut out a groove on each side. So it'll be on the back side of the tailgate, about an inch deep, and then I can only leave about a quarter inch material up here, and then all of the mounting and mechanisms that move the tailgate and latch are mounted back there, so I've got to be very careful doing this. That's it. Got the exact shape cut out. All the grooves are cut to perfect size. The hole is centered. Now I'm gonna sand it. That way we can get some epoxy on it. I'm gonna start with a penetrating epoxy. This is just gonna seal everything if there's any cracks or crevices. That way we can come back with our final coat of epoxy and it'll give it a nice surface to stick to. I did allow that first coat of epoxy to sit for 24 hours and dry. Then I came back with a 320 grit and sanded everything nice and smooth, got it cleaned up. That way we can hit two more coats of epoxy on top of that. And for these final two coats, I went with the tabletop epoxy. The only thing I don't like about epoxy is that it takes so long to dry in between coats, but because this is gonna be outside, I figured it would be the best measure of protection for it. It was definitely worth the wait though, because after those final two coats, it brought every little detail out in that wood. Do you see this? This thing is badass. I did not expect it to turn out like this. I'm super excited. The epoxy's all dry. It looks awesome. Now the last part is to run the handle and all the mechanisms for that. And coming into this build, I knew that the tailgate was about an inch and a half thicker than what this is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is run all of the attachments along the back side of the tailgate so you won't see them from the front. And then I might build some sort of box to house them. I don't know yet. We're gonna try to get everything set up first and see what it looks like. So step one for me is gonna be adding these brackets down at the bottom. That's where the tailgate actually mounts to the base. So get it about right there. Test fit number one. So close. I'm like three sixteenths too big. 
Everything else looks like it lines up pretty well because as soon as I drop that one down, it'll pick this up a little bit. Shouldn't be that difficult of a fix. Almost there, I'm gonna use a chisel for the rest. Test fit number two. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. Oh my God. Do you guys see that? So I'm gonna mount these latches right on this side here. And you can see where I was saying, we're not quite as thick, so we're overhanging, but that's okay. We're gonna run all of our stuff back there that's gonna connect to the handle. So when you pull the handle, boop, pops it open right there. This is the rod that connects the latch to the handle over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this thing in there before I tighten her all the way down like that. When you go to open the tailgate, boom. All right, so this will mount up from the inside and this rod will slide in. There, and then this, I guess, yeah, this hooks right there. Sweet, and then you pull it. Beautiful. All right, let's do the other side. All right, so close the tailgate, latches. Then you go to open it, you just pull the handle. <laughs> In order to get the right height for the handle to be able to properly open, I had to add some blocking, but that's fine. So I'm gonna screw this down, test her out, and see what we got. See how this handle works. Perfect. Here we go. Money there. <laughs> it actually worked. I think I got a new favorite project, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for some more ridiculous woodworking projects. But is it really ridiculous if it works? Probably, yeah, it's a waste of money, but whatever. If that doesn't scream woodworker, I don't know what does.